All right, welcome back. Let's build some mounts. So first thing, we're gonna have to get our false frame out. We got one of these old bed supports to help us figure out our height. Just need a measurement off of it, basically. And not really much to worry about on this frame as far as uh, clearance issues, so uh, we'll get this figured out. So let's go ahead and measure this. Two and an eighth there. So the top of this used to sit at the same height as our flange here that we cut off. So let's measure what we got hanging over the bottom here. Let's see what that ends up being. We're right at two and an eighth basically. So that's gonna sit at the same height as the bottom of that used to sit at. So that makes that very easy for us. All right, all I'm measuring and thinking through is coming coming to fruition, so here we go. What are you doing in here? Daddy. You come to help? Daddy! Daddy! Good morning, buddy. Oh, really? Unfortunately, first mount idea, not so excited about it. Um, don't think it's gonna have enough strength to get what we want done. So I think what we're gonna do is probably leave it in a box shape. We'll put a sleeve through it with an Allen head bolt. That, so that way it'll be kind of reinforced for the top and the bottom. And then we'll just kind of take and around that edge a little bit right there. So that'll be that. That'll be a cap screw right in the top. Goes all the way through. A little more work. Might have to machine some pieces. Um, we'll see what I got for materials wise. Might be able to use a washer and a piece of pipe if I have the right size stuff. So I think that's the way I'm gonna have to do it. Um, I don't think it'll look okay. So I gotta make it look good too. Can't just be functional, it's gotta, look right too so let's give it a shot all right so we found some tubing nice thick wall stuff that'll fit our ARP bolts that we're gonna end up using found some nice eighth inch wall inch and a half uh, inch and a half yeah yeah inch and a half box so that's what we're gonna make our mounts out of. Let's do it. All right, well, I'm pretty pleased about how this is turning out so far. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start on another one. And then I'm gonna to have to make uh, four more longer ones for the side mounts. So I'll show you how this all ends up. back people so yesterday was Sunday 
and I was fooling around with making mounts. And I'll show you a little bit of that, but uh, I think the issue I'm having with this is I don't have a lot of play for movement, so everything would just have to be 100% locked down perfect. Uh, I want to have a little bit of play, so I think I'm going to go, instead of this size, I'm going to step it up to a little bit bigger hole. That'll give me a little room for movement, and uh, I think we'll be better off and safer in the long run. So let's go ahead and do that. quits here and cap the ends off and be done with it but I like to take the extra step so I think we're going to radius everything everything on this truck's radius so I'm going to stick with that theme take the extra time radius all these and it should look at something similar to this when we're done so For now, I'm just going to start roughing in these shapes with my grinder. I'll use this built in a little bit, but I really need this one back in order. I think it needs some lubrication too, that's probably why we built built stripped out. So I'll, I'll go through it and clean it up and lube it before I put the new belt on. Safe. That'll give it some more strength in there.
that took a minute. So now that we got them done, we got to get them cut in, cut the length, uh, fitted. I'll show you the one that's going to be uh, kind of tough. So the one that ends up right here. You cut into that grease. Basically, it'll sit like that. But I think I'll start with the back mounts because that'll hold my whole support up. And then get the side ones cut in afterwards. Really, the way I'm setting this up, almost only needs the front and the back, but keep the side ones there uh, for sagging and to hold hold my other frame up when I'm, when I'm done with it. All right, so now it's time to take a bunch of measurements. Um, get my mind, make sure everything's level, make sure everything's where it needs to be, and then we'll go ahead and tack weld those in, and I need to weld those corners up too before I uh, put any weight on anything, so. For today and uh, let's see what we got here. So we got all the mounts tacked in, cut in, but before we weld them permanently, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the bed and set it on the chassis. Make sure everything lines up where we want it to line up before we weld anything permanent. Once we've know everything's gonna fit good we'll take it back off weld it up flip it over weld the bottom and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna cut these ones off and make a couple more that match so they'll match back here because you will see that so yep, that's what we got done today hope y'all enjoy so we'll be back in a couple days and get some more work done on this but for now I want to say uh, happy new year to everybody Hope everybody has a good uh, New Year's, and we'll see you on the next time of the Cot Rods. Like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. Uh, don't forget to hit that bell, and we'll see you next time.